Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, we're going to be looking at presets. I've made some brand new presets that I'm going to make available to you guys. But before we get into it, I want us to talk a little bit more about presets and then using them in Adobe Camera Raw. Alright, so starting off, I'm going to show you how to install presets so you can use them inside Adobe Camera Raw. And the way we do this is by first of all knowing exactly where your presets are so for me i have my presets on the desktop so i have two folders in here and the one we're going to be looking at is going to be my brand new echo tone presets all right so now that i've located where it is i'm going to right click and then come down to copy now that i have done that i'm just going to go up here and then click on go with my mouse still clicked on go i'm just going to hit alt or option and then come down to library if I let go of the option key, you notice that the library icon disappears and that is because it's not immediately visible in the drop down. So if you want to see it with your mouse still fully pressed, just press on option and the library is going to pop up. Now you can release the mouse and it's going to open up this library dialog box. Now that we're in there, we need to look for application support. We need to click on Adobe. And then we need to come down to camera raw now that we're inside camera raw we only need to look out for settings and inside the settings that is where you're going to paste your presets folder and because i already have that in there i'm not going to paste but all you could do is just paste it in there and then you'd notice that you have the presets in there so now that we have our presets installed now we're going to open it and then start working with them. So I have a few images here that I have selected from a shoot that I did. So I'm just going to right click the images, come down to open with, and I'm going to open with Photoshop. Once the dialog box has been opened, to be sure that your presets have been installed, all you need to do is come down to your presets icon on the right side or press shift P and then you'd see that we have the flowshop echo presets down here if you don't see them in here sometimes they will be in the user presets if you find anything in the user presets and you want to move it into its own group you can simply right click it and then you can move the preset we're not going to be doing that in today's video we're just going to be working with my echo presets so now that we've been able to locate where our echo presets are, I'm just going to run through them and how they look like. So on the very first image, I'm going to come down to the very first icon and then you can see once I hover the mouse over the name of the preset, it's going to apply it just so we can see. But when I move the mouse out, it goes back to the default setting. And this is because I haven't clicked the name. You can only apply the preset when you click the name. All right. So for example, if I click on the echo brown dust and I take my mouse off, you can see that the preset has been applied to the image and it's also visible in the thumbnail. If I want to undo this, I can just hold down the option key and press reset and then that application goes away. If I want to change any of the presets, I can hover over tone life, for example, I can go to echo tone native or come all the way down to echo tone vivid. So cycling through these just makes me see the options and how they affect the image. And if I find any one that I like, I just click to activate it or to apply it onto the image. So going through this, I think for this particular image, I really love the echo brown dust just because it gives a, very, a really nice vibe to the image. I'm going to go into the second image and then we're going to look for a preset that works for that as well. Let me go down to echo tone native. And this is not too different from the echo brown dust except it keeps the natural colors of the greens i'm going to go down to echo tone rich one and then see what that does so this is also a totally different color from the echo brown dust and the echo tone native that we looked at in the beginning i'm going to go down to echo tone vivid and i think this is what i'm going to stick with what this did was simply make all the existing colors in the image pop out a bit more. I'm going to go to my third image right here 
and then I'm going to cycle through one more time to see which of the presets I like for this image. Clicking on the echo brown dust again looks like it's really working well with this image and that is because these presets were made for any tropical area where you have greens and browns in abundance. These presets are going to be the right ones for you. I'm going to go down to echo tone life just to see what that also does. I'm going to cycle through some more to see if I'll find any other presets that I'd love. I think in this case, I'm going to click on Echo Tone Rich 2, but I'm going to go inside the adjustments and then make further changes. This is where using presets to color your images comes in handy. This is because all the adjustments are not destructive and you can go back and make the changes so it fits what you want. This goes back to me saying in the beginning that presets are not a hundred percent fix for all your images so you always need to find presets that are really really close to what you are looking for and then when you apply them you can go inside and then tweak them further so looking at how the echo tone rich 2 looks all i want to do is change the greens and also desaturate some of the oranges a little bit so i'm going to go back into my adjustment tab and i'm going to come down into color mixer in here, I'm going to push some of the sliders just so I can move the colors around to see what's going to work for this particular image. So in here, I want to tackle the greens first of all, and I want to reduce the saturation of that. I also want to go into the oranges and then reduce the saturation of those as well. And then I also want to change the reds and then just desaturate them a little bit. I also want to come into the hue and then play with the oranges just a little bit to see what works for me in this case. I'm going to go into the yellows and then do the same thing. Come down into the greens and then figure out what works for me. I can also go all the way back into the basic tab and even adjust my exposure settings. So I want to bring the highlights down, bring my exposure down, open up the shadows, Reduce the blacks and maybe just add a little bit more exposure to the image. One last thing that I want to do is go into the vibrance and also pull that down just a little bit like that. I can now go into my color grading tab and also make further adjustments if I need to. In my mid-tones area, what I want to do is just move the dial out a little bit like that and now I can just cycle through to see if I find a color that works for me and something around these lines actually cooling down the image looks like it really works well for me I want to put a little bit of green in the highlights so I'm going to go into the highlights and instead of keeping it in the cyan I'm going to just move it a little bit more towards the green so now you can see in just a few steps, I've been able to change the way the preset had affected the image in the beginning to give me a completely different look. So bear in mind, presets just give you a starting point and you have the power and the flexibility to move them around till they work for you. I'm going to go down onto my last image right here and I'm going to go back into my presets tab. I want to go and use one of my presets that I made early on. This is also going to be another example of where presets are just a stepping stone for you to get exactly what you want. Even though these presets were made using the indoor image, I'm going to apply it onto this outdoor image and then adjust them to fit what I'm looking for. So I'm going to start off with Eden plus green and I'm going to cycle through all of them to like find what works for me. I'm kind of liking the way that Eden burns and browns looks, but it looks like it's pulling out too much color. So let me just go through a little bit more and then see if I'll come back to this. So I am actually going to come back to the Eden burns and browns and I'm going to click on that. Now that I have applied that preset to the image, I'm going to go back into my basic tab and start adjusting from here. First of all, the image looks really dark and I really want to brighten that up. So I'm going to open my basic tab. I'm going to start off with exposure. I'm also going to lift up the shadows a little bit more. And I'm going to go into the clarity and reduce that as well. 
I'm going to come down into the curves and then I'm going to just lift up the blacks some more and reduce the contrast in here. I'm also going to come down into the color mixer tab and then I'm just going to adjust the colors a little bit more. I'm going to go back into my basic tab and I'm going to up the saturation a little bit just because I want to bring more life into her skin. I'm also going to adjust the temperature a tiny bit just to add more life and warmth to the image. I'm going to go into my color grading tab now and then make a few more adjustments. Now that I've made a few color grading adjustments, I'm going to go back into my basic tab and then finalize the exposure here. I'm going to up the exposure some more. And I'm also going to increase the contrast. There. I think this now works for me. And now you can see that with just a few sliders, we've been able to adjust presets that were made using different images to our liking. I can also go back again to some of these other images where I've already applied presets and I can go back into my preset tab and since I'm changing my mind now, I think I also want to apply the echo brown dust to the same image and with just a simple click, I've been able to color grade the image. I can also come down to echo tone vivid and apply another preset just to see how it looks and feels. I can even come all the way down into my previous presets that I made and then look for another preset that is going to work for the image. In this case, the eating base looks really good. But I'm going to go back down to Echo Tone Life. I really, really like the way all these presets have affected the images in different ways. And I also like the fact that they've been able to give me flexibility to adjust them since none of the adjustments were permanent. Alright, so that's it for today's video guys. I hope you learned something about how to use presets inside Adobe Camera Raw. And mind you, these presets, you can still use them in Lightroom. It works the same way because Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Lightroom use the same engine. So whatever adjustments I've made in here, if you don't have Adobe Camera Raw and you have Lightroom, it's going to work as well. But I'm also going to make another dedicated video on how to install these presets inside Adobe Lightroom and also how to adjust them to your liking. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I recommend you hit that subscribe button to join the family and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. So yeah, if, you, if you've been waiting for presets like these, they are now ready on my digital store. You can go onto my website, click the link down below, it's going to take you straight there and then you can buy the presets. Okay, so if you're on the store page as well, I recommend that you go through uh, the other items I have on there, like my Melanin Skin Tone Lats. If you don't have that, I recommend that you get my Melanin Skin Tone Lats. It's an amazing, amazing lat. I'm really proud of myself for making that lat. If you're working with dark skin tones, trust me, just get it and apply it on your images and let me know how it goes. If you're skeptical about it, I have a free Melanin Action that you can... Uh, download and if that one works for you trust me you're going to love what's inside of my melanin skin tone lats pack because that's made up of about six different lats and all of them just give you different feels to your images so yeah uh, buy anything uh, on the store to support the channel and i also have some free items on there like free raw files for you to practice with if you're looking for raw files to practice with you can just click on any of them and download them for free also if you want to be practicing every single time every single week when i upload a new video if you are looking for raw files i'm going to put a link to my patreon down below as well every single week when i release a video i'm adding raw files into the patreon so if you're a patreon for seven dollars you have access to raw files every single week that's it for today's video i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember don't ever give up